Cool. So when you enter New York, you have a lot of these small ups and downs uh, over these rock ledges, uh, which is interesting. It's a little bit different. And um, this is one of the first sites you see this flag at the top of a hill. And uh, I'm not certain why this flag was put here or, or when, but I, it is very close to the, um, the flag that was painted on a rock after 9-11. And I didn't take a picture of it because it's in such bad shape. Um, and I've heard, actually, that they're talking about restoring it, which um, I do hope they do. Well, coming up on the first of first rebar we've ever seen in the mountain. Uh, these will get more frequent, I think, in the the whites in southern Maine. But looks like New York wants to get in the game too. So after a long day of hiking, it was really nice to come out of the woods and find this hot dog stand, which, as you can guess, I had to uh, get a snack from which was delicious and then right across the street was this homemade creamery that made the best ice cream uh, which was so great i had a, a big hot fudge sundae that was spectacular well at the creamery i ran into puck who said that was really cool the trail magic in your honor and i said what are you talking about he said you didn't see the trail magic that had a note on the top that said this trail magic is an honor of and it listed six of us bloggers and Spielberg, Big Bird, Highlander 58, Bigfoot. He couldn't remember the others, uh, but I missed it. And it must have been because I think it had already been picked through. I remember uh, after he told me there had been a, uh, a, a container there that had empty Gatorade bottles and stuff in it and the, the lid was off. So I didn't even bother looking at it. And when he told me what I was so touched, I, that really just made my day. And um, so whoever you are that did that in honor of all of us, I really appreciate it. That, that really meant a lot to me. All right, I guess this is the view. That was a crazy incline. And this is all we get. This is the bridge over the New York State Thruway that I have passed while I've been in cars for decades. And I always pass it and say, oh, there's the Appalachian Trail. I, one day I want to hike that. And so to be on this bridge is, is really quite amazing. A lot of the stonework that's in Harriman State Park in New York and in going over Bear Mountain was done by the CCC or the Civilian Conservation Corp, which was part of the New Deal and uh, put people to work that needed jobs in the 30s and 40s. Um, but their handiwork was so amazing. I mean, these buildings and these walls are still standing as if they were, were brand new. Just so well done. This rock formation that was in my intro is called the Lemon Squeezer, and it was a lot of fun. These are the views here in New York, very low and but pretty. Now that we're in New York State, I should tell everybody that this is actually not only the state that I live in now, it's the state where I was born. I was born in the northern part of the state in a city called Rochester, where I lived for the first six years of my life before my family moved down to Virginia, to the Shenandoah Valley, 
But when I was 13, we moved back upstate, not as far as Rochester, but we moved to a, a town called Rock Hill, which is outside of Monticello in Sullivan County, and I guess just about 45 minutes or so from the trail, so really close. Um, lived there for about three years, then moved to Long Island, and uh, I've lived in Manhattan probably for the last 20 plus years uh, of my life, which is also about just 45 minutes from the trail. So I've pretty much for most of my life lived within an hour of the trail, which is uh, something I had never really thought about until till recently, till I was, I was thinking about this. Um, so just a little fun fact. This is on top of Bear Mountain. The base of Bear Mountain is actually the lowest point of the entire Appalachian Trail, and it's home to uh, a free zoo, which a lot of people take advantage of. And uh, it's a very small zoo, but it's it's interesting. And I think the biggest attraction are the bears, which uh, are, are uh, always have crowds around them. And as it was an extremely hot day, they decided to get in the water. Oh, no, no. 